because oh I'm sorry <laughs> come up in the spot looking extra fly for the day you die you gonna touch the sky you gonna touch the sky baby girl testify come up in the spot looking extra fly I just finished getting dressed. We are taking the kids out to round one arcade because, you know, it's a, it's a holiday weekend. There's no work or school tomorrow. So it's a long weekend. And they had canceled my daughter's school on Friday because of weather. So it's just been a long weekend and we want to take the kids out to do something. We were going to take them somewhere tomorrow, but we just decided to do it today. I actually like my hair like this. I know I complain a lot about my hair. <laughs> But I actually like it when it's in this ponytail. It's giving water wave. If it was longer, if it was like much longer, it would really look like a water wave ponytail. It's kind of cute. But um, yeah. My outfit, child, it's giving mom. It's giving mom very much so. But that's okay because I'm a mother. So that's fine. It's going to be all right. And... Round one is inside of Cumberland Mall, so we're going to also go in the mall because my daughter has some gift cards she wants to use. So, yeah, it's just like a family day out. Si el ritmo te lleva a mover la cabeza y empezamos como es. Mi música no discrimina a nadie, así que vamos a romper toda mi gente se mueve. Mira el ritmo como lo tiene, hago música que entretiene, el mundo nos quiere, nos quiere, me quiere a mí, toda mi gente se mueve. Mira el ritmo como lo tiene, hago música que entretiene, mi música lo tiene fuerte bailando y se baila así. Estamos rompiendo la discoteca, la fiesta no para, pena comienza. Se come si, se come sa, ma chérie, la 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 la, Francia, Colombia, me gusta. G Balvin, hey. Willy William, hey. te gusta Freeze. Los DJ no miente, le gusta mi gente y eso se fue muy bien No le bajamos, mas nunca paramos, es otro palo y plan ¿Y dónde está mi gente? Me fue a buscar la tete ¿Y dónde está mi gente? Say yeah 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 Uno, dos, tres, cuatro Esquina, esquina, y ahí nos vamos El mundo es grande pero lo tengo en mis manos Hey y'all, I finally got a tripod for the car, a car mount, whatever you want to call it, for my camera in the car so now I can talk even more. I'm on my way to get a little waxed, but yeah, I'm so excited for my car mount, but I set it up wrong because I'm dumb. Like, I can't even see, like, I can't lift the viewfinder up. That's one of the things I don't like about my camera. I have the Canon EOS M200 and 500, something like that. I think it's M200, but I don't like that the viewfinder lifts up instead of out to the side. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, y'all, it's Monday. I didn't work out yet because I wanted to make sure I got to my wax appointment on time. So I just got dressed. It's hard for me. Even if I have hours before something, I still be in my mind like that's the only thing I can focus on getting done is getting my getting whatever appointment I have or whatever is getting to that appointment that's all I can think about so even though I had plenty of time I could have worked out I couldn't work out like I couldn't work out but I'm gonna work out when I get home 
I don't know what workout I'm doing yet. But I did want to tell y'all I lost a little bit of weight. I'm not going to tell y'all how much, <laughs> but I did lose a little bit of weight. And I'm happy about that. But I'm really not trying to focus on the numbers because I think I'm recomping. Because the crazy part is that I lost some weight, but then a new pair of jeans that I bought that fit me last week don't fit no more. And that's weird. <laughs> that's so strange. But I know it lifting, like, it's more... You can't focus on the numbers because one week you could lose weight, like, because of my diet. I know because I cut out sugar and stuff like that. I know that's why I'm losing weight. But... The next week, you can gain weight because you're lifting and muscle is heavier than fat. So if you're lifting and you're building muscle, you can end up gaining weight. And so you can't just focus. You can't focus on the numbers. You have to really focus on your body changing. But um, yeah, and I do I do think I noticed some recomposition, but I'm just like, you know, I'm just staying consistent regardless of what's going on with that. I'm just staying consistent. I'm trying not to focus on the scale. I still step on the scale, but I'm trying not to worry about that because I don't want to get discouraged if I see gain because I could see gain. But that doesn't mean that I'm not doing what I need to do, you know, and it's good when you gain muscle because then you start to burn more calories through everyday activities. So that's fine. These are things I've learned <laughs> through my research, my YouTube videos, YouTube University. <laughs> These are the things I've learned. And also, I'm only following people who have like lost weight, a significant amount of weight. I don't listen to fitness people who didn't really lose weight because a lot of times they're giving advice based on trying to become leaner but they were already thin so it's just different like they don't have as much fat to lose and things like that so it's just different so I don't follow them and I try to follow people that have had the body type that I have now and not even necessarily lost a, a large amount of weight but they got to the figure that they were looking for and a healthier lifestyle they were looking for because honestly y'all it, it it's cliche to say I know people say this but it really is not all about weight loss because you can be healthier and you can come down and you can look much thinner and not even be as small as you thought you wanted to be like <laughs> not even get to your goal weight but still have a better physique and more muscle mass than fat and be in a healthier position and it's not always going to be at the weight you thought it was going to be especially when you're lifting like especially if you're lifting so since that's really my priority I'm really 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 trying not to focus on the pounds but yeah I just wanted to give y'all that little update of my journey I know that I need to really start um eating better I don't feel like I eat horrible and I don't eat a lot and I don't really snack but I know that like I love to cook and I love to make like restaurant food at home and that's not always the best but I have to stop I have to stop doing that and have to focus on the best thing for my body not just cooking for fun you know Wednesday night and they put the color purple on TV we are about to have a little movie night in the house we're about to watch the color purple and I'm about to get some snacks together and maybe make a drink I don't know how to make no drink but <laughs> I'm gonna try the kids are asleep except the baby because he is a ride or die about me he is not going to bed till I'm going to bed but that's okay. Let's see, I don't know what kind of drink, I don't know what to make. Baby
you, it drives me crazy Hey y'all, it is Friday. I haven't vlogged in days because I have just had a doozy of a week. I just be stressed out and I really haven't been doing anything. Like I haven't even really been doing stuff around the house. I juiced, but I'm like, I'm always showing y'all my juice and it's like, how many times can I show y'all my juice? <laughs> but yeah, I juiced and that's really the only thing I did. I was thinking about doing a, um, roller set in my own hair but i didn't do it because i don't we're going on a date next week and i think i want to have my hair done for that and i don't want to have to put more heat on my hair so i think i'm gonna just wait until next week when we go on our date we don't know where we're going we have a voucher to use and it's like a list of places we can use it for so we're not sure exactly what we're going to do yet but i know i want my hair done so i'm going to do it i thought about getting the sewing but i'm like I don't know why it's such like a mind block and like a um investment <laughs> why do i feel like it's such an investment in me to get a sewing like it's not that big of a deal but i'm just like i'm just not sure <laughs> if i want to get the sewing for a date like i think i should just get it but i'm not i don't think i'm gonna get it yet i think i'm gonna wait it's like i don't know but we are about to head out we are going to the japanese life store um it's a japanese like grocery store and we wanted to film content there it opened up a couple months ago but we didn't get a chance to make it it's kind of far but we wanted to go there and like we wanted to go because it just seems cool but we also wanted to do some content there so we are about to head out and do that i don't know what i'm gonna do later when i get home i just feel like this is probably gonna be a real short vlog but it's okay before i leave i want to tell you all the juice and the recipe um because it's really 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 good i made a pineapple peach limeade it's so delicious so i'm gonna tell y'all what i use i'm gonna show it to y'all i already made it but i'm gonna show it to y'all in the bottle so this is the juice i was telling y'all about it has half a pineapple seven honeycrisp apples seven peaches one lime and three mandarin oranges of course you can like cut that into thirds if you're only making juice for yourself but it's a lot of us so i made juice for all of us did i ever even show y'all that i had got the um what you call these the glass bottles i don't even know if i told y'all but yeah i ordered them on amazon and i just make juices for the week but y'all, oh, and I also got this thing. I really need to be going, but I got this thing. Excuse my refrigerator, I need to wipe it down. But I got this thing to create my weekly menus because I've been writing them on sheets of paper. And I used to have, did I even, I think I talked to y'all about this already, but I used to have a, a board, but this is the new, um, this is the new board I got. It's like magnetic and then it has the markers with it and you just write down your menu. So that's gonna help me stay organized. Japanese life store was super cool 
so cute they had a lot of cool things when i get home i'm gonna do a taste test we're gonna we're gonna taste together we'll taste the different snacks that we got together we just left um unbelievable i left my other tripod that i got for the car my car um mount i left that at home and i meant to put it in this car so yeah but we just left unbelievable and i got a kiwi sparkler so now we're about to go to peri peri which is like a new restaurant in atlanta and yeah Y'all, it is so cold in Atlanta right now. Like, what the heck? I did not move here for this. And also, they canceled everything. They canceled school for my daughter two days in a row because of the weather. And it's not snowing just because it's cold. One of the days it was raining, but still. And then they canceled their soccer practice, everything. But it's okay, because I don't like being out here in the cold anyway. Okay, y'all, we're back and we're about to try our stuff. We got two bags of stuff of snacks which one do you want to start with <clears throat> i don't want to try i don't want to try none of that seafood chip stuff because that seemed like it's gonna be i'm gonna try it but it just seemed like it's gonna be you don't even have to yell the camera uh, picks <clears throat> up sound <laughs> no i think we should try it. it's on top let's just try it yeah okay all right this is spicy crayfish flavor lays Let's see what it smell like first. Okay. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> It'll smell bad. I, I'm not really a big fan of seafood, so for me, I just eh, in chip form. No. All right, go ahead, take a crack at it. <clears throat> All right, it don't smell bad. I'm gonna take a small chip. Man, you got the small chip. <laughs> okay, wait. Cause it tastes like something. It actually tastes like. I'm not gonna say what it tastes like. I want you to taste it. Mm. 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 Yuck. Yeah. Yeah. It actually tastes kind of like Indian food to me. This is like crab, crab and tomato, tomato juice. I don't think it's so bad. Yeah. I don't think it's so bad. Oh, we can have try another one. I like these. I would, I would get these again. I really would. Like I like them. I'm shocked. I like them. All right, next seafood item. <laughs> this is like the last seafood thing, though. I think next seafood thing is shrimp chips. Oh my god, <laughs> it's man! What? This smells ridiculous. Yeah, it's a strong. It smells like fish food. It's a, it does. No, it really smells just like fish food. And, but he, and he doesn't like seafood like that. Like especially like shellfish. He's not a big shellfish person. Um. It smells like you could grind I, it, grind it up, and I love feed it to fish. It's not bad. It don't really. You taste it. It doesn't have a taste to it. It barely has a taste. This tastes better than the chips because it's it's kind of a subtle. It's it's real subtle. It's real subtle. You know what this tastes like? And gives the texture of. I don't. We don't eat pork. But when I was younger, pork rinds. That's what it's called. Pork rinds. That's what this has a texture of and tastes like. It smells worse than the taste. I'll give you. I'll say that. Yeah. It does not taste. Oh, hold on. I'm getting taste aftertaste. Like I'm getting aftertaste. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not feeling the aftertaste. It doesn't taste like the smell. Uh, you don't feel you don't taste the aftertaste? No, I don't taste a bad aftertaste. All right. Next, well, this is also something we got, but we're not gonna try this right now. We ate already, but we did get some ramen. I never had this brand of ramen, so I'm interested to try it. And this is a beef bone broth flavor, shin black ramen. <laughs> I bought this one because. I'm intrigued. Never seen uh, this flavor Kit Kat. This flavor, and we don't know the flavor. I don't know what the flavor is. <laughs> it doesn't say. Um, oh yes, it says Yokubari 
double whole wheat biscuits. So I guess it's whole wheat. Kit Kat. I don't know. I don't know what the flavor is, but it's like I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's try. This. Yeah, see. Smells good. Smells like a like a, a regular Kit Kat wafer, a wafer. Why is this camera focusing on everything but the Kit Kat? Okay, you see. All right. It was good. It's good. It's a very it's subtle. Just, it's a subtle flavor. It's like. It tastes like a regular Kit Kat. Yeah, it tastes like a regular Kit Kat. And honestly, it doesn't have a different flavor. No, I don't. If you've had a regular Kit Kat, you know what this tastes like. It mm -hmm. just tastes like a Kit Kat. I guess it's just whole wheat wafers. Mm -hmm. He don't know what this is. <laughs> it's a yuku, yuku juice, y or yuzu juice, something like that. A what? Yuku juice or yuzu juice. It said that. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I think it's kind of, kind of maybe like an Asian fruit, yuku or yuzu. Mm. Yeah, we don't know. It doesn't have any um, translation mm -hmm. on it. So you want to try it? Okay. Yeah. I almost did shake it too. Here you try Smell it. First. It, mm, it smells like citrusy. It smells very like lemons. Yeah. Mm, it has pulp in it too. It does. Yeah. It has mm, a lot of pulp. Not in too it. bad. I don't think y'all can see. Y'all can't see. I'll pour it out if I try to show y'all. It's not too bad. It tastes like um. It's not sparkling. It's it not sparkling though. Yeah, it's supposed to be sparkling. <clears throat> it is a juice. Yeah. Very. Once again, to me, it's a very subtle flavor, like watery, yeah, like watered watery, down. Yeah, it's watered down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's alright though. It's okay. Let me show Grape gummy candies, and I love gummies. I think it's trying to focus on your face. <clears throat> Yeah, grape gummy candy. And I think these might be individual wraps. Oh, they are. Thank you. Mm. Squishy. Mm. It smells nice. It smells? Yeah. yeah, it smells good. It smells like grape. Yeah, like a gummy. That's nice. The texture is really good. <laughs> the flavor is like a um, like grape gum. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. But better to me, like more grapey. All right, and then the last thing we have, we need a butter knife for this. Okay. The last thing we have is a Hello Kitty. Oh, it's upside down. A Hello Kitty. What is this? A sun cake? Uh, oh no, pineapple. pineapple cake. They also had Hello Kitty sun cakes. We weren't sure what that was, and we like pineapple, so we said to try this one. Oh, and this is such a cute box. It's nice for like a gift. Yeah, this would be a nice gift. Oh, okay, with a plate too. <laughs> Wait, is it only a plate? No, no, I think it's only a plate. <laughs> oh, this is a plate, it comes with a plate. on top. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. The Hello Kitty plate. Are you sure we didn't just buy a plate? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. Nice I thought gift. this was the cake. It'd be a nice gift. I'm glad we got this one because yeah, we didn't get the other one. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought this was the cake in the box. This is really cute. I feel like a nice surprise. Mm. Oh, we should have unboxed this. Yeah. <laughs> Look, y'all. This is so cute. I'm gonna go get another one because this is adorable. <laughs> so we don't need a butter knife. No, I thought no. it was a whole cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is real cute. So this is the mm -hmm. this is the little it feels dense. It feels more crackly. Okay. Smell. What does it smell like? Butter. It smells like butter. Yeah, it does. Okay. This is what it looks like. I don't know. It has some color to it. I don't know what that is. But let's try it. Mm, it's, it's gooey. Like, it's like shortbread. Oh, I didn't get the inside yet. It's gooey. 
Mm. Mm -mm. No? Not for me. I like it. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I don't like I don't like the texture surprise. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's like a jelly. Yeah. But a gooey jelly. And I feel like I would like the texture if it was just I expected it. Yeah, pineapple jam. Oh pineapple jam. I didn't expect it. Mm-hmm. You know what it tastes like to me? Like um dried apricots or mm -hmm. something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like preserved jams. Mm. This is not my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is not my favorite. So it's cool. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't get it again. But it's okay. So what do you like most? Um I what I like most. I like the um I like, I like them gummies. I like the gummies too, but I actually, I really think I like these chips the most. Mm, really? Yeah, these are really good to me. These are surprisingly good to me. I didn't expect that. <laughs> well, you can have them. And they're not spicy. They're not spicy. Spicy crayfish mm. flavor, and they're not spicy at all. I feel like these things have a real subtle flavor. Mm -hmm. Like, everything has a subtle flavor. <clears throat> it's not like... Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like subtle. Yeah. So the, la the last thing we gotta do is taste the noodles, but we'll do that a different time, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that a different day. I'm not eating nothing else. Today. But yeah, so that's our review of to uh, uh, Tokyo Kuma. Our taste test of Tokyo Kuma. Kuma. Peace. <laughs> it town down. <laughs> So it is Saturday and I'm about to go to Sam's Club. But before I head out, I wanna show y'all what I got from Ipsy this month. Got my new Ipsy box. I'ma show y'all everything. Just cause, you know, maybe we could try some of the products. Oh, an update on Good Molecules. I wanted to tell y'all, I honestly only like one product that they sent me. I like the lightweight daily moisturizer and I haven't used the correcting serum cause I don't really, I'm going to try it on other parts of my body that I need to use correcting serum, but I haven't used it on my face because I don't need that. The um, the discoloration correcting serum. The toner is okay. Like, it's cool. Um, And I think they might have sent me one other thing. Oh, the other thing they sent me, I can't remember the name of it. It made my face burn, but I think it's supposed to do that. But I don't really feel like I need that product. So, I'm not going to say I only like one product. I'm just saying... I've only really used one product that they sent me so far. But that one product I do like makes me feel like maybe I should try other things from the line. I do really like the lightweight daily moisturizer. I use it every day. So yeah, that's an update on that. Cause I know like we talked about it when I first got it and then we didn't talk about it again. It still says BoxyCharm inside. BoxyCharm Glow Your Soul Gold Fatten MD Dr. Scrub Ruby Crystal Microderm Exfoliator. Hmm, I'm gonna be trying that. It has hyaluronic acid, seaweed extract, and ruby crystals. Oh, that sounds nice. I'm gonna try this out. It says, helps buff and remove dead skin, improves the appearance of skin tone, reduces the appearance of pore size and lines. I'm gonna try that. Oh, I need to do my nails. Woo! <laughs> ignore that, ignore that. I'm doing my nails probably tomorrow or Monday, something like that. Ignore it, ignore it. Um, Ren Clean Skin Care Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. I might try it. Actually, I want to see the texture. So let's see. I'm about to open it. Because I actually, I really like gel creams. So this definitely feels like it's something I would use. Oh yeah, shaking the bottle, this is the texture I like. This is what I like, this is the kind of stuff I like. Yes, I love a good like in between a gel and a cream. I feel like more people, I'm rubbing it on my um, hand right now. It smells really good. Mmm. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be trying this. I don't know if I wanna put it on my face right now cause I'm about to leave the house and what if I have a reaction, you know? <laughs> I feel like I'll try it. Well, I just tried it. What am I talking about? <laughs>
But I'm gonna try it in full tonight. I'm gonna see. Mmm, it smells really good. Clean to skin, clean to planet. Oh, this smells really good. I feel like I'm gonna like this. I did buy a gel cream from Drunk Elephant once that I was like, it's not my favorite. I used the whole bottle of it, but it wasn't. It wasn't. This is Wing Me. Wing Me Clear Brow Gel. Let's see. Y'all remember back in the day, YouTube, when people would get their little subscription boxes and try every single thing on it and do a whole full face? I might do a video like that because that used to be super cute and I wish we could get back to old school YouTube. But um, yeah, I might do that. I might do that one day with my subscription box as long as they send me enough makeup products and do a full face using what they sent me. Because I used to, do, I used to love those videos. Like, because it's like you don't know what they're getting in the box. It's like a surprise and then they're trying it out and it's like a real time trial and i love that so this is a clear brow drill brow what the freak my hair is sticking out on the side and i put gel on it i needed to use some got to be well yeah clear brow gel i don't have a mirror so i'm doing it in the viewfinder i don't get my eyebrows done because i just feel like they're already thin but i did get my eyebrows microbladed and i need to get them redone Honestly, y'all, nothing really does it for me. Like, when I was in Las Vegas <laughs> and I had to use my edge control, well, I use that Anastasia stuff, which is edge control. And I used edge control and my comb. That changed my life forever. That's really like, like that really, I was like, this is how I'm gonna be doing my brows now. It changed me. So, I don't know. This brow gel is not really something I think I'm gonna be using Laura Mercier caviar stick eye color if I get a new pair of glasses I might not get the blue light filter cuz oh I'm sorry <laughs> it's okay it's like a purple color I never really do purple it looks brown on here but it looks purple in person let's do a swatch oh wait is it brown no it's not brown it's definitely purple yeah, it's purple. Can y'all see that? It looks brown, but it's really purple. I don't know, I might try it. I've been wanting to start going back to what I used to do. When I used to make my eyes look real like smoky. I feel like I've been doing a lot of like clean girl, but I wanna kinda go back to doing a little bit of like a more darker look around my eyes. I like more sultry. Um I might try that the next time I do my makeup. And I've stopped, I've totally stopped doing full face. Like I haven't used foundation in so long, but I kind of want to go back to that too. Just for the fun of it. This is the Instant Crush Half Caked Lip Gloss. Okay. I don't know this brand. Never heard of this, but it looks super cute. Super like early 2000s internet. Super really cute. Oh, they're like glittery lip gloss. This for me is not something, child, ignore my nails. Oh my God. These for me are not something that I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, I'm gonna try them on. Let's see. I just feel like it's a lot of glitter in them. That's a lot of glitter. It's like too much. I wouldn't buy these. Let's just say that if I saw them, I'd be like, I'm not buying it. It's all that glitter in them. It's like a throwback though. <laughs> definitely would have bought this when I was like 13 so that was clear just so y'all could see it and then I will put the pink on on top of the clear See if y'all see a difference. This is cute. Actually, this is cute. <laughs> Actually, this is really cute, but I think I'm gonna give it to my daughter. She's my daughter, so it's okay. I tried it first. I think it's actually really cute, but I don't need it. I have a lot of lip gloss. I have other li I have lip glosses that I like. Like my daily lip glosses have more pink pigment. So, you know, that's not something I'm gonna use really, but it is really cute took me back in time so yeah i'm about to go we're going to sam's club i love grocery shopping so i'm excited
<laughs> I'm like, yay, we're going to Sam's. All right, bye. Oh, oh. I'm a purple. I forgot. This is not my the face. last meeting. I said, I meant last meaning like They're when we leave the too. store. Oh. Uh. A purple. I mean, all right, whatever. If y'all don't care if it melts. $500 later, y'all. All of this food, all of these groceries. 